Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the next segment. So remember that we just ran our analysis and we got some results. We're looking at the deflection right now. And also, we can look at the reactions tool. And another cool feature is we can look at the shear diagrams tool. See, but well, this one's pretty huge. So we need to scale this again. Let's go 0 0.001. There. So now we got some positive and then some negative. And then we can look at our moment diagram tool. And we get the perfect. Uh, moment diagram for this particular shape and notice that we have a moment diagram and it's zero at the ends because remember we have a pin support that we just changed which there's zero moment resistance right we all know that from a structural analysis course and then looking at our numerical tab perfect there we go okay so x translation millimeters we got zero 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 makes sense there's only a force in the y direction y translation at the second node which is the midpoint the maximum was minus four meters. So that's a pretty big translation. Obviously, this beam would have cracked and failed, but it gives us a numerical value. Z rotation. So now we've got negative 1.23 radians. Remember, it's always in radians, guys, and positive 1.23 radians on the third node. So those are the numerical results, and we can go to our forces, or our reaction forces spreadsheet, and then we get the it's split in half. Makes sense. Y force 250, 250 is 500 divided by 2. And uh, now we're going to look at our member forces spreadsheet. So this is a new property for us, a new table for us, because now we can actually deal with some shear stretches within the beam because we're dealing with vertical forces and then also the moment throughout the beam. We have our max at the midpoint at 1250 and our shear is positive positive and all the way down to negative and that's constant and that meets and changes at the halfway which we all know from our structural analysis course and then this is also new we look even further down to the member normal stresses spreadsheet now we've got some normal stresses because we have cross cross sectional properties so that way we can get some normal stresses throughout the beam so one cool property is that we can change the stations we can change how many points that we want to analyze so by default it was at five so say now if we want to just analyze two sections per beam we want to refresh so it'll give us two measurements per beam change it to three then refresh got to click in and then click out again so now we got six measurements total because we have, so and it shows you the station it'll be at zero halfway and then halfway between beam one and then the midpoint between the whole beam system and then again at the halfway point which are that they are the same because we have a symmetric loading on a symmetric system so what that did it basically took a measurement at node one at the halfway between here at node two at the halfway between two and three and then again at node number three and depending on how many points you want to take measurements at you can change um, your sections to as many as you want okay now i promise the next video the next segment we're going to be looking at load combinations i got a little carried away on that one